The shipbuilding project means more jobs in Sturgeon Bay. And if welding students at Sturgeon Bay High School are thinking about what to do after graduation, they might not have to go far to find work. Here's a first-hand look at the project and the opportunities it brings for the community. A look at the horizon in Sturgeon Bay can be a look toward the future. And what's coming soon at Fink and Terry Bay Shipbuilding is a new project that is part of bringing more jobs here. We could be very well doubling our workforce within the next 12 to 16, 18 months. Craig Percivali is Vice President and General Manager at Fink and Terry Bay Shipbuilding in Sturgeon Bay. At a dock like this, you get a good look at the size of the ships the company repairs during the winter. And Persa Valley told us about a new ship that is set to be built right here. These are vessels that are designed to uh, transport technicians to wind farms off the east coast of the United States. So they can be out there for a week or two weeks at a time. The ship is planned to be nearly 300 feet long and will take workers to a wind farm off the coast of Virginia. Persa Valley says part of the ship is an advanced gangway system so workers can get from the ship onto the windmills. This will be the first time Fink and Terry builds a ship meant for a project like this, but... You know, we're hoping that there'll be many to follow uh, thereafter. Construction on the ship is set to begin in September. Between this project and the company's government work, the company needs up to 500 more workers here from entry level on up. We're certainly looking for a lot of good people to come join the team. All of those jobs can mean more opportunity for students in a welding class at Sturgeon Bay High School. And I was always intrigued by welding and stuff. I was always surrounded by fabrication. So it always kind of intrigued me and I want to do it for a, a job in the future. Liam told us he wants to go into the Navy. A metal flag hangs on the shop wall. And the teacher says his students after graduating could decide to go to a four-year school or a two-year school or what he calls a no-year school and go right to work. Most of our, my focus for them is the machine shop as well as the welding shop because that at the moment has a lot, a lot of jobs going out of high school that get good skills with. The students could go from here to here, helping ships go from here to here. Once again, sailing toward the horizon. In Sturgeon Bay, John Erickson, NBC 26 News.